in the underground in oil research bunker, the Anoa Safety Squad is working hard to ensure that you have a safe working environment. Hey, and I'm Josh. Today we're going to talk about the back end of our vehicles. Yep, otherwise known as the tail swing. That's right. The tail swing of your vehicle can be an issue if you don't pay attention to it when you're making turns. Yeah, it can easily or actually be like a scorpion tail and hit objects or pedestrians or anything else that's back there. Because our vehicles are long, the turning radius of the rear axle can cause the back end to swing wider than a shorter vehicle. Yeah, turns can be very dangerous if you don't take the necessary precautions before and during your turns. The tail swing hazard is one of the most common types of accidents. Tail swing length danger areas for the trolleys range anywhere from seven to 11 feet, while the mini buses can go from six and a half to eight and a half feet of tail swing, and the double deckers are about eight and a half feet. Your stopping distance will also determine the amount that your vehicle will swing meaning the closer you stop to an object in front of you, the more drastically you will have to turn the vehicle when you depart, which creates more tail swing. The further away you stop from an object in front, it will allow you to gradually pull away, causing less of a tail swing. So you have to maintain the proper balance of stopping distance along with the positioning of your vehicle in correlation with objects. Most tail swing accidents are minor and usually involve something small such as a, as a mailbox, mirrors, or stop signs. However, these accidents can also involve pedestrians and bicyclists, resulting in extensive bodily harm. As you can see, tail swing can be dangerous, so you need to pay special attention to it. To prevent tail swing accidents before you leave the base yard, make sure that your mirrors are clean, not cracked, or broken, and properly adjusted so you can be sure that the rear of the trolley will adequately clear objects when you begin your turns. If you can see the rails of the trolley, or windows if you're in a minibus, the mirror needs to be pushed out just a hair. Three quarters of your mirror should see the roadway, the other quarter, the side of your vehicle you're driving. A lot of drivers have their mirrors positioned where the side of the vehicle is taking up about half of the mirror, causing them to not see enough of the road. Be sure to adjust mirrors on both sides. When you're on the road, remember to check the right side of the vehicle when turning left and the left side of the vehicle when turning right. And always be certain your vehicle has the right of way before beginning the turn. During a turn, it's necessary to ensure that the rear axle is up far enough to keep your vehicle from doing this. Pinching objects. Check the mirrors for space as the vehicle continues through the turn. Your mirrors should be constantly monitored during a turn till the point of completing it or passing the hazards associated during that time. But you're not finished. You have to be aware of the tail swing. Always check the mirrors for clearance from any object. Also, be sure a vehicle or person has to enter the danger area as well. Or something like this can happen. However, if you check your mirrors and are always aware of your surroundings, you won't have this problem. A common problem area is at the Hilton Waikiki Beach. If this is on your route, be cautious and pay special attention to these magazine stands. Be careful when you pull away from the curb and watch out for that tail swing. As you can see, tail swing is very important, so pay special attention to it. 
Always be aware of your surroundings, which brings us up to our next topic, blind spots. Blind spots. Other drivers may not be aware of the size of your vehicle's blind spots, so you have to be vigilant and watching out for our vehicles. Blind spots are danger areas. One third of all crashes between large vehicles and smaller cars take place in the blind spot. As a driver, you have to always maintain a constant awareness, awareness of the areas that you can't see with your mirrors. Here's some tips that can help you out managing these blind spots. First thing to do is check your mirrors before you get on the road. Adjust them so you can see where your blind spots may hide. Point them out so that you can get a better visual of the cars in the lane next to you. Your rear view mirror should also be positioned so that you can see as much as possible behind you. Next, look over your shoulder. Do not rely on your mirrors to show you the whole picture. Even though you adjusted them to give you the best possible view, there may be areas that your mirror cannot see. The double decker has a number of blind spots. You have one, two, three, four, five, six that you have to be aware of. Yeah, the trolleys actually have more blind spots even though they're open air. Every post in the front window section produces its own blind spot. The center drive trolleys have one, two, three, four from the post alone. Then the mirrors themselves create their own blind space, which is five and six. Then there's seven, eight, and nine. The left hand drive trolleys are similar to the center drive. You have the posts in the front windows creating blind spots. You've got one, two, three. Then the mirrors generate blind spots, four and five. Then there's six, seven, and eight. Yeah, lastly, the minibuses. Their, their blind spots are a little more traditional. You have one, two, three, and then one extra right here, number four. Always look over your shoulder to check the lane you're going to merge into. Do not remove your eyes from the road for a long period of time, though. You always want to make sure the lane ahead of you is clear as well. The last factor is other vehicles. They also have blind spots, and you should try to avoid them if possible. Even though you're in a large trolley or a minibus, you can't assume that they know you're there. The general rule is to maintain a safe distance so that you can see their mirrors. If you can see the other driver's face in their mirror, then they have a better chance to see you. If you cannot see the driver's face, you may be in their blind spot and they could change lanes into you. That's right. So remember those three things to help you deal with blind spots. One, check and adjust your mirrors before you get on the road. Two, do shoulder checks and don't rely solely on your mirrors. And three, pay attention to the other drivers around you and their actions. Just because you're a large vehicle, don't expect that they can see you or your turn signal. Yeah. Also, don't forget to watch out for that tailspin. And remember, Safety, hydrate, and focus.